Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'll be putting together some Skeleton Warriors from the Warlords of Erewhon box set. I found these models to be very, very difficult to put together. They have lots of very, very small and fragile pieces, and plastic glue is required for putting these together. Super glue would just not work. It would be too brittle, and it would be too fragile to hold the pieces properly. So once I have clipped all the pieces that I need to build three Skeleton Warriors, um, I noticed that the feet actually come attached with a small peg running between them. And now it's important to leave that peg attached while you put the legs onto the feet and attach them to the base because it keeps them in the appropriate orientation. And once everything is dry, you can then go ahead and clip that peg. Another thing that I found helpful while building this kit is I'm using two different types of plastic glue. They're both Tamiya Extra Thin glue but one of them has a bunch of sprue in it that is dissolved and makes it a little bit thicker, and that helps when you're bonding uh, plastic that is an imperfect bond. What worked best for me building this kit was I would glue everything twice. The first time I would glue it with the thick glue, um, and that would hold and let me pose and get the model situated how I liked it, and then I would let it set, and then I would go back in with the extra thin cement, and I would let that dissolve the joint and really help to get a good weld on all of the joints. To help pose the skeletons, I found what worked well was letting the torsos and legs dry completely and then working with the arms and weapons at the same time, uh, working with them before the glue had time, had time to set. Once the glue had dried, I then went in with a hobby knife and I cut out the peg connecting the two feet. For my skeleton archer, I decided to go with a skull I found in the Citadel Skulls box, specifically a bird skull. Then I wanted to add a little bit more grit to the bases, and so I applied a little super glue and then I sprinkled a small amount of sand onto the base Making sure not to create clumps, I, I sprinkled a very, very small amount over some of the areas that were super glued. And then to finish it off, I found this spear in the kit and I used it to make a arrow for the skeleton archer. I found another skull that I liked out of the Citadel Skulls box, and so I shaved the back of it flat and then I applied it to the shield of the Skeleton Spearman. And there are three finished Skeleton Warriors. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like to see us do, please comment below. If you follow this tutorial, please post your work on Instagram and tag Eons Battle so that we can share it. Thanks for watching.